Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to those of you who are watching. We're actually live streaming this as well. So welcome to another live stream and uh, welcome to another uh, sort of video of sort of just in my house how I manage things. And this is food related. And as you know, we've made uh, some food videos and stuff like this. And what we're about to do right now is basically do something that I go through doing once every few years, which is basically sort through my liqueur cabinet, right? And what you see behind me right now, sort of basically what I end up doing is I, I seasonally in general, I take fruit if there's good fruit to be had and I sort of infuse them. Um, I use some sugar and vodka and sometimes gin and I sort of fill them up uh, fill up the bottles with the fruit and layers of sugar and pour alcohol on top and sort of give them a little swirl and stuff like this so the sugar melts a little bit and in general usually put them behind the window in the sun so the sun hits them a little bit and it sort of gives off a little heat and uh, the sugar in there sort of melts a little bit and you can shake it up a little bit more and you end up getting very delicious liqueur some of it nicely medicinal okay i have a couple of things here that are that are medicinal as well that i in general they're very good for the tummy okay i if i have sort of a, a tummy issues if i ate something that's making me feel bloated i drink a little bit just a touch just a little bit of liqueur sometimes a little bit more right and it makes your tummy feel so much better and every now and then i got a couple other things here that are good for uh, they have different medicinal properties and I'll let you know what they are. Actually, let me know. When, let, let me tell you what they are right now. There's a couple of them which are very good. One of them for sure is lemon and we're going to start off with that. Okay. Another one is uh, sea buckthorn that we pick from a local uh, sort of community garden here. And another not, another one that we have, I tra track down the name because I know what it's called in, in uh, Farsi, in Persian. It's called Zohalakhti in Farsi, but English it's called the uh, cornelian cherries okay and i'm going to show you all of these and there's a couple of things we have to sort of sort out here because there's uh, some jars here where i took the uh the pulp from making jam and i didn't want to get rid of the rid of the jam so i poured put them in a jar poured vodka on top and because it was sort of pulp it sucked in all the vodka so what we're in, we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up trying to filter some of it out get rid of the pulp and see what we can do so this is sort of me going through my routine that i do once every few years as well as sort of doing a little experimentation as far as the liqueurs here what you see here the bottles that you see here and what's inside of them they range anywhere from a couple of years old to about 40 years old i have a bottle here a liqueur that my grandfather started like around in the 80s so it'd be like 80s 90s uh, so it's like 40 years old or so right uh, and it's amazing that one is we drink very sparingly you know we take another just a little bit at a time right and uh, what we end up actually doing as well is once we finish off the alcohol in one of these bottles right one of these containers Sometimes what we end up doing is, or I end up doing, if there's enough fruit in there, you just, I just end up pouring more sugar and more vodka on top. And that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to clean it up, sort through it, get rid of the, what, what we don't want and replenish some of our supply. Okay. And I have sort of a table set up here, a little box that we have. So I'm going to put the stuff here and I'm going to sort through the things. That way you see what it is that I'm doing. And the first one we're going to start off with is the lemon uh, lemon batch that I have. I started about uh, probably about eight years ago. Okay, I started this batch. So let me get it. Okay, take a look at this thing. I'm going to definitely give the bottles a wipe as well, right? So this is my lemon liqueur. Okay, down here is the vodka. And you can tell there's a little bit of... I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of sugar still left that hasn't dissolved in there. 
and I do have, uh, I bought a couple of extra bottles of uh, 26ers of vodka. And what I'm going to do for this is, and here, let me crack this open. I'm going to show you this as well. My hands get a little sticky when I do this, right? So I have, you know, rags here and uh, and I have a little bucket. I usually, I usually, just to let you know, I usually do this by the sink, by the kitchen, right? But because we're going to try to go through the whole thing in one shot right now, uh, I sort of set myself up here to be able to do this. And I have a bucket with water here right now. So I'm just going to wet the rag so that way I can, if I get too sticky, I can wipe off my hands, right? And another thing I've done as well is uh, I know we're not in season right now. We're sort of in fall, but we had, to, we bought some fruit when it was in season and we froze it. So we're going to make a two, possibly three new batches of liqueur, okay? So let me show you this. Because what we can do, we can definitely eat the lemons as well. So this is what the lemon comes out like, right? So this is basically organic lemons that I bought like seven years ago or so. And what I ended up doing is cutting them up in these slices. And what I would do and it becomes very soft. Fantastic. This is amazing for the tummy. Amazing for the tummy, really. And what I ended up doing with this originally, I filled it up like about this much for full of lemons. And then I put sugar on top. And then lemons and then sugar and then lemons and then vodka. Right? So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to replenish this. I have... Uh, a bucket of sugar here as well. Let me bring this up. Okay. Here's my sugar. Okay. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour some sugar on top of this. Actually, before we do that, one thing I do need to do is taste this to see what level it's at. Right? So. Let's see if we can get it out. Let me see if I can do this with you guys to see it. Right. Okay, that's plenty. Because we're going to be sampling a few of them. Okay. It's a little cloudy. It used to be clearer, but the lemon is sort of becoming really soft now. It's fantastic state to be in. And this will carry for a couple of decades even, right? Oh, that is amazing. Really, it's amazing. And this guy, sometimes I take a glass like this, put ice, a couple of cubes of ice in there, and pour this on top. Let the liqueur go over the ice, and it sort of becomes cool and... Um, and dilutes a little bit and you can just sip that okay but this was that is fantastic really okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna grab some sugar here okay and i'm gonna pour it on top and this is organic sugar that i'm using Okay. And I don't weigh this stuff. I do it by, I taste it to see how much I need. This was very sweet, but because I'm going to be adding a lot of vodka to this, I'm going to try to fill this up. I don't know if I have enough vodka to do this, to do it with it, because I want to use, use a little bit for other stuff too. So I'm going to probably dump about half. Okay, let's put this down again. Give ourselves space. Okay. So we have that. Let me do bring the vodka out. And, you know, I'm not promoting any vodkas, like really. Uh, well, there are some vodkas that I like, uh, but I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not being paid. I, I, just to let you know, I'm not, I'm not here promoting. There's no agenda here or anything like this, but I know the question is going to come up. 
So for me, you can use any vodka you want. Don't use flavored vodka. You want to just use straight up vodka for these things. You don't want to give around orange vodka or chocolate vodka or whatever it is. You're doing that yourself right now, right? I'm doing that myself. So I want the vodka to be just straight up vodka, not infused with anything. But I usually end up using Absolute, okay? It's my vodka of choice to go to. Um, I do buy higher end vodkas. I like potato vodkas and stuff like this. Uh, but this is, I found, just like anything, if a certain food that you're consuming agrees with you, then it agrees with you. You should deal, you know, enjoy it, right? So all I do for this is, is just... Let it go down. So we use about a third of it or a quarter of it. This one is probably the one I drink the most, okay? And what I've done before doing this, I took a, another jar about this size, right? And I filled it up with some of the lemons and then transferred the vodka over, right? Because uh, what's gonna happen right now, because I'm putting fresh vodka in here, I'm not gonna be drinking from this right away, right? I'm gonna let it sit a little bit. And it's in the fall, it's not the best time to do this. You wanna do this in the summer sometimes, usually anyway, uh, where when the fruit is fresh and the sun is strong, right? So I am gonna to try to put this behind the sun for a little bit of time, okay? That's about half a bottle of vodka. That took us all the way up to here, right? So that's not bad. Should I add a little bit more? Let's add a little bit more. Can we fill it up to the top? That's gonna consume too much vodka. I need to save the vodka. We need. We have this one in another bottle for some of the other stuff we plan on doing, okay? So I'm just gonna put that there. And I'm gonna close this guy up. Okay. Give it a shake. Take a look. And take a look. The sugar gets caught up in different places, right? Take a look. There's the sugar. Sugar, 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 right? So now that it's like this, I'm going to leave it alone. And after we've done the shoot, after we've done the stream, what I'm going to do is take this and put it in the sunroom and let it sit in the sun for at least a couple of days, okay? Hopefully, if it's sunny enough, it'll be warm enough inside and let the sun hit hit this guy and it's almost to the top, which is, oops, I'll do it this way. It's almost to the top, which is perfect, right? So my estimation of how much vodka we're gonna need for this one is not bad. So I'm gonna put this on the side, okay? And we're gonna grab another one, okay? Now, this one, take a look. I think we got more of this one too, do we? No, this is the last batch of this one. Now this guy, take a look. And you can tell this is, again, an absolute bottle. Now this one doesn't need topping up, but I might add sugar to it. I'm going to have a taste of it, right? This is the sea buckthorn that we picked from a local um, sort of community farm. They've planted some fruit trees, and every year people go there. And uh, in season, you just pick fruit and you eat and whatnot. And they have a fair bit of sea buckthorn bushes. So we grabbed a whole bunch of sea buckthorn. I believe this is the last bottle we have, right? And sea buckthorn is, it is medicinal, I forget. Uh, it's good for the tummy for sure, but it's got some other, some certain types of oils which are really good. And people um, make tinctures out of sea buckthorn, right? So what I'm gonna do, and you can eat the sea buckthorn as well. Maybe when we do, let me see, this is, let me, actually, let's just use a different shot glass, right? Let's use a purple shot glass. Well, let's use an orange shot glass because there's a sea buckthorn, it's orange, right? So let's have a taste on this. I want to see if it requires any more sugar. Okay, just a little bit. Maybe we can get a sea buckthorn to come out. 
We got one. Perfect. Yeah. Let me bring this out. Can we get it? We'll do it the other way around. Ooh, strong. Even just tasting them like that is strong. Ooh. Come back. Take a look. This is the sea buck blind. Okay. This is for people watching it recorded later. Right? HD camera. And let me show you the people who are watching it live because this is the camera. This is the location of the camera. People watching it live. Right? So you can eat this. Incredibly strong. Wow, wow, wow. Even this is going to be too much. Okay. Like, really, this is going to be too much. Unfortunately, because I had already put the fork in my mouth and I put the fork in here, I'm not going to dump this in here. Okay, right? So you got to keep your lab clean. Okay, that's one thing you learn uh, through chemistry. Very strong, very strong. Does it need more sugar? No, no more sugar. But I'm not going to drink the rest of this. Okay? I'm going to put this on the side. Like, even that much is enough. Right? That's the beauty of liqueurs. They're not... Uh, you know... Should I give this a wipe? Let's give this a wipe. There, we use liqueurs for medicinal purposes, for meditation purposes, for just sitting back and chilling. And now you can tell there's a little bit of, this isn't sugar at the bottom. It's sort of the sea buckthorn sort of residue that builds up in the bottom and it doesn't need check this out i forget what you call it uh the terminology for it right but this is perfect we don't need to do anything with this cool let's see what else we got what else we got i actually don't even know what this one is let me take off the wrapping because sometimes we just use whatever bottles we have, right? Let's get rid of this. Let's throw this on the side. And take a look. This is crab apple. I think this is the crab apple stuff that we made crab apple jam from, right? I gotta crack it open. It's already full, so it doesn't need any more vodka. Okay. And take a look at this. Towards the top, in the bottom, because it's sealed, no oxygen's again to it, it's kept this color nice and bright. The top ones, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is going to be powerful. What do we got? Let's do red. <laughs> red shot glass <laughs> for this. And I think, I'm pretty sure this is it. I have multiple forks here. So I'm going to grab another fork. We already used this one. I'm going to put this one on the side. And actually, I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to be legit with this. I got a plate here, right? So I'm going to use the fork I haven't. And I'm going to bring this out. Come on. Okay, we got to use it. This is the darker. Well, I'll show you the colors. Watch this. See the color of this one, right? Where oxygen hasn't got to it, and here's the color of this one, right? Big difference, right? So oxygen is what is, in general, your enemy to a certain degree, right? When it comes to food. Look at this. We're going to have a little bite on this. Wow. Mm. 
very good. I might add a little sugar to this. Tea. But before we do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a little sip of it, right? Just a little. That's enough. Take a look. That's it. Okay. Very little. We're going to add some sugar to it. Not too much, very little. Okay. A little bit more than that. Okay. I'm going to add this much sugar to it. Okay. I should have brought. I'm going to do this. Actually, let's put this, this guy here. Let's bring this guy. I'm going to put this in a in here so we don't get any spillage of the sugar if it falls out of the lid of this which we probably will maybe not if we're careful right nice <laughs> nice take a look i don't know if you can see it but the sugar grains are sort of falling down okay that's enough after a couple of months uh, or a month or so i'll taste it more here's the sugar getting stuck and again this one we're going to put by the window in the sun and i'm going to give it a wipe as well before i put it away or put it down here because ideally what i want to do is take care of all of these guys and then give the table a nice wipe as well right this is sort of fall cleaning i guess you can think about it but I don't do this with the liquor cabinet or the liqueur cabinet every year. I do it once every few years, right? Nice. Let's get rid of this guy in there. And that's our crab apple. Sweet, sweet. Oh, look at this one. Now this. This is magic. Okay, this guy. This is the cornelian cherry, okay? And this is uh, the crab apples I picked, the lemons I bought, the sea buckthorn we picked, the cornelian cherries I picked as well. And this is, this is cornelian cherry, and Persians, Iranians will kill for this. Okay, we make jam out of this too. And when this is very, very ripe, it's amazing when you eat it. It's fantastic for the tummy, okay? Uh, and a lot of antioxidants and stuff like this. But what I'm gonna do, I got a couple of bottles of this. We picked a ton of the stuff, how many years ago? Seven, eight years ago or so, okay? And uh, let's just grab a spoon. Let's bring out one of these Cornelian cherries. Let's eat one. Take a look. Right. Show the live stream people. Right. Cornelian cherry. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Mm. Very, very good. Very good. Hmm. Let's put the seed down. Because I don't think we need another spoon. I have more anyway. And cornelian cherry. I'm going to taste the vodka in it. Because I have another bottle, I might put the two batches together. But again, I'm just going to take very little, very little, very little. All, right. All I'm doing right now is just sampling it to see if it needs any more sugar. Actually, let me cleanse my palates. I'm cleansing them with, should be, I could do it with water, but this is very weak tea, so it's good. Very nice. Very nice. The 
because it needs more sugar. Hmm. Let's see, where's the other batch? Let me find the other batch of this. No. Here's the other batch. And here's another batch. Cool. So here's a couple more batches. Now take a look at this. This is a good example of seeing what's going on. This one, this bottle, I've gone through a few iterations. I've probably gone through three or four fill-ups of this again, what we're doing right now, right? This one, you can see is darker on this side. This one, I haven't gone through as many iterations, right? So it still has a lot of its qualities in there. This one doesn't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these two batches together. Take a look. I'm going to put these two batches together because they have the same color, right? If you can see, hopefully. Right. And I'm going to leave this one alone. And this one, what we're going to do is most likely finish off the alcohol in this and taste the little bits. And the little bits, what I'll end up doing is most likely because they're still good. I might mix them in with these guys or just leave that one alone because that's sort of, I don't know what the word for it is, sort of alcohol infused uh, fruit where it stays, it keeps as far as I know, I've never had anything go bad on me. And we've had batches of this stuff for four decades, right? So, and this is only seven, eight years, okay? So these two guys I have to mix together. Well, what I'm going to do is, I know what this one tasted like. Let me just put this one here for now. But I do need to taste this one as well. pour a little bit again very very little and you can see the color in it just a touch just a touch All right, take a look much sweeter much sweeter than the other one so I'm not going to add any sugar to this one Okay, I'm not going to add any sugar to this one because I thought about adding it to this one. But this one is much sweeter than this one that I'm going to put together. So together, they'll make a good mix. They'll make a good mix. I'm not going to do it right now because I need to do this by the kitchen. Okay, so I'm going to put these on the side and deal with them when I have the space to deal with them. And this one I'm not going to taste. Um, because the idea will be to finish off this one first, right? So I'll have plenty of time to taste this one first. The other one will mix together, put it up, close it up, let it sit there. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Whew. Friday is a good day to do this. <laughs> do you look at this one? Nice, nice. This is the crab apple as well. Okay, this is another crab apple. This is darker than the other one. Take a look at that. Wow, wow. I think this might be the red crab apples, maybe. Let me crack this open. And let's have a taste on it. I'm not going to eat the fruit. I want to be functional until the end of the video, right? Because <laughs> these are strong. These are strong. Okay. Because we use this one for the crab apple, the red, I believe, I hope so. Oh no, we use the orange for the crab apple, right? Yeah, we use the orange for the crab apple. The red we use uh, the sea buckthorn, right? I believe. No, 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 sea buckthorn was orange. Yeah, I think so anyway. So again, we're gonna taste a little bit. watching live and for those of you watching recorded and these are beautiful shot glasses I got I got as a present
from family friends a while ago. Very nice. I like this one better than the other one. Okay, I gotta do a taste test sample. Yeah. It's sweeter, it's nicer. Oh, we added sugar to the other one. That's it. That's right. This is the flavor I like to get the crab apples to. This one. Okay. So let me give this one a wipe. Oh, that just warms you when it's going down. So nice so nice and when did i make the crab apples this batch i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't know i forget very nice very nice okay oh this one let me show you this this one we're not gonna touch this is cinnamon sugar and cinnamon and the cinnamon for this was when i made the crab apple jam the crab apple butter and we got a whole bunch of videos on making crab apple butter i guess we made those three years ago four years ago right actually these this cinnamon is probably from an earlier batch i think it's from an earlier batch because this was filled up to the top so this was an earlier batch but it was the same process making apple jam right but we put cinnamon in the pots as well, right? The videos we made, I didn't put any cinnamon sticks in there. I don't remember putting any cinnamon sticks in there, right? So there was another batch where we made apple, crab apple jam. Might have been apple or crab apple. And we put cinnamon sticks in there to give it a cinnamony flavor. And then once the cook was done, right? What we ended up doing is taking the cinnamon sticks, putting them in the jar, adding sugar and filling it up with vodka okay so that's what this batch is should I have a taste of this we got a lot more to go through uh, I've already tasted this a few days ago let's see oh my god that's so nice let's do let's use a green one green shot glass for this right it's a beautiful shot glass beautiful and they're all different I think they're like whoop, check this out are these two different yeah their thicknesses is different and stuff like this let's do I think we have uh, just a little bit just a touch and usually if I'm you let this sit and the little like when i shook it up the little apple bits came up and made the liqueur cloudy right so usually you don't shake it up when you pick it up to pour yourself you want it to be clear all right just a little bit just a little bit nice color very strong very strong very delicious very delicious Whoop. we're gonna leave that one alone and it's a good thing to know if uh, every now and then you go through your liquor cabinet and you you get a sense of what they taste like your collection right Let's put this guy in. We don't need to do anything with that. Blackberry. Do we have more blackberry? I have more blackberry. Okay, let me bring out. Let me bring out my blackberries. Because blackberry is something I do very, very often, right? We didn't get a chance to go do it this year, pick blackberries. But let me show you <laughs> take a look at these guys because <laughs> I'm hitting up these bottles right I sort of have just random stuff laying around these are little firecracker tank firecrackers 
Right? I got four of them. Look at this. The price tag isn't even on them. Dollar twenty-five or dollar twenty-nine. <laughs> right. So fun. Like warning. Here are these two guys. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. I got these as a gift, so seem like a waste to light them up. Maybe not. Maybe sometime we'll light them up. Okay, let's put these guys on the side. And let's see how many blackberries we have. Oh, this is from Blackberry Jam. I'll show you this later. This is also blackberry jam. And I think this is the last blackberry. Take a look at this. Okay. We got five separate bottles of blackberries, right? Now, this one is the only one that I made with gin. Okay. September 2012. Okay. Oh, let me show you. So I'm not going to taste this right now. You don't really want to mix gin and vodka. Because everything I've been sampling right now, tasting is vodka. So I don't wanna I don't wanna drink gin while I'm drinking vodka. But this is done, right? So we're gonna drink this, finish it off, and the pulp of this, I don't think we'll keep it. Okay. We might, but probably not. We might sit set it down in one of these mesh things that we have and let the alcohol drain out, possibly. But blackberries I can replenish fairly often. Every year we have great blackberry picking over here. Okay. So let's put this guy here. And the rest of these are vodka. And what I'm going to do, you can't really see the color of that one. This one is done too. See the color on it? It's very, it's very faint, right? So this batch is done as well. So we're going to finish off this one. I'm not going to do anything with this. Okay. As well as this one. This one's seriously done, right? So I might try to set this up into a mesh and get the alcohol to come out of it. Uh, but I don't want to use the meshes for these guys. I can do those later. Let's check it out. This one. We're going to sample this one. And let me see this one. Let's pour this. Let's do blackberry. Let's do blackberry in this guy. Okay. Hold this. Just a touch, just a touch. Let's see. Let's check this out. Right. Beautiful drink. Should be clearer than this, but this is old. Oh, that is nice. We're not going to touch that. That's a good drink. Let's put this guy down. Right. And let's check out this one. Nicely sealed. Take a look. I don't want to, it's pretty full. So you can see what it looks like, right? Take a look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit. I got to be careful with this. So I'm not going to bring it too close. There. Perfect. Nice. Take a look. Oh, that is fantastic. This is the primo. 
right? This one, I don't think we've touched. This is the first time I'm cracking this one open. And this would be about, uh, for about four years ago or so. The other one, the Jin one was from 2012, that's six years. Uh, yeah, this one would be from probably 2014 or so. So this one, we're just gonna keep. We're not gonna touch it, okay? And uh, the one in the green bottle, we're gonna leave that, but we're gonna go through it faster, sooner rather than later. And that one's almost done as well, and the other two are done, same with the gin. So we've got one legit one. Next year, time to make blackberry liqueur. All right, so. Let me give my hands a wipe. Let me show you what I have here. Now, this guy is, was an experiment, okay? This is plum jam I made, okay? And what I did, I didn't want to get rid of the pulp. And it just was so much pulp, I didn't want to grind them. Like, it was a fantastic jam, so <laughs> I didn't want to throw the pulp away. So what I did is just added vodka on top. I might have added a little bit of sugar, but it didn't come out well because it's just basically thick. Because it was pulp, it was all cooked and stuff like this. It was basically thick, sort of vodka-infused jam. So I tasted it. From what I recall, it wasn't very good. But what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to put this in a sieve, put it in the glass, and let the alcohol separate from the plum. Let's do this with one of these glasses. Oof, no, no, no. I mean, take a look at this. The thickness of this is insane. Right? Lesson learned. Don't do that. <laughs> look, it's like syrup. Right? Let's just have a taste of this. Let's use another spoon mm, that's actually not bad I did tasted this a while ago so let's try a little bit more <laughs> yeah we're bringing out a seed as well <laughs> take a look like this is the seeds, the pit of the of the plum, right? Wow, what a unique flavor. This would be amazing over uh, chocolate ice cream. Mm-hmm. Very good. I like it. Okay, we're not going to touch this. I was going to put this in a sieve and get the liqueur, um, the alcohol to come out of the pulp, but this tasted really good. I guess that's what happens when you let, let things age a little bit, right? Some things improve greatly with flavor, right? Or their flavors greatly improve. So let's just give this a wipe. Next time we have chocolate ice cream, we're going to be pouring this on top. All right. What else we got? What else we got? We got some random stuff here. Uh, I like marbles. I like marbles. All right. Who doesn't like marble? Let's leave this guy here. After we go through all the liquor and we finish shooting the video and the stream, I'm gonna take everything down and give it a nice wipe, right? Oh, let me show you this. This guy is magic. This guy is magic. This guy, I'm gonna clean my palettes with water. Because this guy's magic. This guy's magic. Right? This guy 
is the one my grandfather started like 40 years ago in the 80s, right? And this was cherry pits. My grandmother was making cherry jam, I believe, and they needed to, they wanted to get rid of the pits. So they got rid of the pits. It wasn't cooked. Like you didn't cook the cherries with the pits, right? So you took out the pits and then you do the cook, right? So they took out the pits and my grandfather took the seeds and made liqueur. Look at that dark blackness of this, right? I've only added vodka to this once. Many, many years ago, like 10, 15 years ago. We drink this sparingly. So I'm gonna have a little taste, okay? here we don't want to accidentally drop this right and I'll show you what it looks like close up oh yeah nice let's close this baby up let's close this baby up look at the color of this absolutely beautiful look at this guy of this oh my right take a look oh my god such an amazing cherry smell magic 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 This also on vanilla ice cream or black or black dark chocolate ice cream. Amazing. I'm so tempted to increase the, the volume of this, but I'm not going to touch it. This one's not going to get touched. No, no, no. No, no, no. Only special occasions we drink this. This is a special occasion, right? Let's give this one a nice wipe. Nice. Let's put this guy here. Okay, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, okay. Let's see what this tastes like. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. What else we got? Oh, look at this. I separated it. Nice. I got two of those guys. I forgot. When we did a move, when we did a move, that was in a different jar. So to pack things, and we've done a move a few times, but in the last move, last couple of moves, I separated them. Check this out. This is also another cherry. Cherry seeds. Same batch from 40 years ago. Very nice, very nice. Take a look. Sweet. I didn't know I had this. I keep on forgetting because I keep on creating more, right? This one we're not going to touch. This one we're going to put on the side. That one's magic. That one's magic. Let's see what this one turned out. Now this was me. Let me make sure I don't have any more of these ones. Look at the darkness on this one. Yeah, these two are the same. Okay, so let me put this guy here too. This is... Oh yeah, this is the gelatiny stuff that came out. This guy is the same as that guy. This guy is the same as that. Oops, same as that guy. Let me make sure that's the same as that guy. 
Oh. I'm not 100% sure on this one. I'll have to taste it. I should have been uh, labeling these, but I haven't. Right? I might go through and label them this time around. And this guy. This is blackberry as well, but it's not the same batch. I don't believe so. Uh, what's this guy? <laughs> I'll show you this later. <laughs> I'll show you this afterwards. This is, uh, I think I know what that is. That's uh, older from uh, grandmother's period, grandfather's period as well. Let's put this one back. Let me show you this glass bottle. If you like glass, glass bottles. This is Eiffel Tower. I think this was, uh, well, I know this was my grandmother's from like 40, 50 years ago. I inherited a whole bunch of stuff during certain moves, right? We lost the lid for this, unfortunately. It's so unfortunate. It was a beautiful bottle. I kept it. Okay. And I think that's perfume in there. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. But I think it's perfume. It's not alcohol. Okay. Let's have a taste of this. Now that we know what we got. Let's have a taste of this. Okay. Let's use a spoon. Mm, yep. There we go. <laughs> nice. Oof, oof, oof. I don't know what this is gonna taste like, but we're gonna give it a shot. Let's use one of these guys. I think this one's going to be pretty harsh. This is blackberry, but it might be blackberry. It might be blackberry blueberry mix. The pulp. I would have to take a look at the pulp. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. Take a look. Right. Beautiful color to it, eh? Fantastic color to it. Yeah, this is, both of these are blackberry, blueberry jam that I made, okay? And it's the pulp from the blackberry, blueberry jam that I took that I didn't want to throw away. I put in a jar, pour vodka on top, put some sugar, I believe. Strong, strong. I didn't put enough sugar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add sugar to this. And this is the same. Oh, sealed up. There we go. We got this. There we go. We're going to have a taste of this too, just to make sure it's the same one. So. Where's our glass? Let's check it out. Look at the color. Just dark. Just black. Alright, let me pour it in this and then I'll show it to you. We got little fruit flies coming around now because we're going through this stuff. They love the sugar in there. And the smell of this, right? Look at that. That looks beautiful, right? It's like port. Okay. Oof, oof, oof. Yeah, we're going to add sugar to both of them. This one's a little sweeter than this. I'm going to add more sugar to this. kick it up so I'm gonna add this much sugar it might be a little bit too much we'll see because the lid for this is bigger I don't need to okay that's plenty and I'm gonna add the rest of this maybe top this guy off too cool 
and we're going to close that. And we're going to close this guy up. And we're going to give him a wipe. And we're going to put him on the side. All right. Nice. Let's put this guy here. And give this guy a wipe too. Oof. Nicely cures. Let's put this guy here. Now, let me show you this. Take it like this. All right? I believe this is crab apple again, but from an older. And this, uh, this one, the seal wasn't perfect. So maybe that's why it's a little bit darker. More oxygen got through, maybe. Right. If that's the case, I'm gonna have a little taste of it. Let me put this guy here. Put this guy here. This is the fork that we used that oh this is crab apples. No, these are plums. This is plum. Here I'll show it to you. Let me close this guy off. I believe so anyway. Take a look at that. Right. Very nice. It's got a great color to it, eh? Let me crack this open. Let me cut it. I'm just gonna do a cut on it. Let's do a cut. Let's put this guy down, close this guy. Let's have a little taste. Mm. Oh my God, that is so good. Very delicious. It's been a while since I tasted this one. I'm gonna drink a little bit from it too. Very nice. We're gonna use another glass. I brought a whole bunch of shot glasses here. Ooh. It doesn't need sugar. The, the fruit doesn't need sugar. I'm gonna taste the alcohol just to see. So it's very light colored, right? Very light colored. Beautiful color. That is magnificent. No, we're not gonna to touch this. This one's perfection. The perfection. I'm gonna eat this one too. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Think of it. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's put this guy here. Very nice, very nice. Let me give my hands a little wipe. Let's put this guy down. Over here. I think after this I'll have to eat something hearty. Take a look at these guys. These guys are the ones that I have issues with. 
This is, again, a pulp of jams that I ended up making that I didn't want to throw the pulp away. A couple of them turned out okay. They're good. Just needed more sugar. Oh, no. This one is... Let's bring out another fork. Actually, here's the fork that we used. Oh, wait a second. This is the cherry stuff. Look at this. <laughs> Let me show you this. Yeah, I'm going to put one. And before I tell you what it is, let me make sure I taste it. All right? This is what it is. All right? Little guy. Take a look. This is old. If this is what I think it is, this is old. We're going to have a little taste of this guy. I think it has a pit. Oh, my God. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So good. This is uh, cherries, right? Not the pits. Straight up cherry. And it's been... I'm going to show it to you. Let me show the live stream. It's all squished down and just, just broken down now, right? This is 30 years old, right? 30-year-old mix. It doesn't have any liquid in there. This, again, would be amazing, amazing with, uh, with ice cream and stuff. Like the alcohol flavor isn't there. Right, very little, very little. <laughs> I'm gonna pop these. Wow, this is fantastic. Look at this. What a mush. That's too much. Let me do this much. Oh my god, look at this. Amazing. So dark, so dark, so dark. Right? Mm. Wow. Magic. <laughs> Fantastic. Holy. Okay. This one. We're not going to touch. I could pour vodka on top. I don't want to. This one I might transfer to the fridge. The forming, the fruit fly loves this one. Wow, wow, wow. This one is straight up cherry. That's been sucking in the alcohol and breaking down for 30 years. Can't go wrong with that. Let's see what this one is. This is, must be the blackberry, blueberry jam. Seal that tight. Let's bring it out. Let's have a sip. Ooh, did you hear that? Oh yeah, look at this. might be straight up blueberry let's grab another fork i'm gonna have a little taste of this this is straight up blueberry or this could be blackberry um cherry as well Oof. blackberry oh so strong very very strong ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's put this guy here. Leave it here for now. I gotta crack open the ones, a couple of the ones behind us. I wanna make sure I know which ones are the same. That way I'm gonna combine them, okay? So these are the ones we're using. We're putting in our mouth. And this one is the one we're not. Okay, so this is Blackberry. Let's see. 
This guy is also Blackberry. Yeah, take a look. I'm not gonna taste this, it's the same as this. Okay, very strong. I might put these, uh, I'll think about it. I might just add sugar to them and a little bit of vodka. And this guy is the same as well. Yeah, it's like the paste of the getting the pulp out of uh, the jam, right? Let me do a little taste of it. This one's got more liquid in it. More vodka in it, so we're just gonna do a little sample. Mm. Not bad. <laughs> the pulp was super strong, but the liquid is pretty damn sweet. Let me show it to you. I shouldn't have show, I should have showed it to you. I forgot to show it to you. That means we just have to have another one, right? Here is uh, the gang watching live, right? Fantastic. Great color. Delicious. Here it is. So it's very much the same color, same flavor as the previous blackberries we had. Yeah, that is very good. So these, this one needs sugar. This one, I have to taste it as well. So, you know what? I'm gonna leave this one alone because this one tastes good. And I'm not gonna mess with this one. Okay, we leave this guy alone. And we're gonna crack open this one because we didn't taste this one. I wanna see if this one is like that one or like this one. We'll find out soon enough. This is the blackberry. Let me clean my palate. Right? Let's see. Let's pour a little bit in this. I think this is like the other one, the good one. I might taste the liquid in that too. I was gonna taste it without showing you. Can't do that. Gotta show it to you. Right? Beautiful. Let me show you guys that we're recording on. Very nice. I'm gonna taste the liquid on this one too. Actually, I got another clean fork here. I brought a whole bunch of forks. I got four forks here. I'm gonna taste the pulp in this just to see if, I think this is the blueberry blackberry mix. gonna taste the other one too. We must. We must. Let's do. Let's taste the liquid in this. The liquid in this. Let's taste the... Uh, do we have any more here? Here. I'm gonna use a fresh one. A clean one. I came prepared. Let's see. If this one uh, just needs sugar, I might just add sugar to it. Again. All right. Let me show the people over there. Watching on the DVD. Strong. Okay. This 
da nichts. This one's just strong. Let's do this. We are, we are just gonna make a little note. Okay. Because it's very much different than the other two. Not different, but super strong. Strong. And after I give this whole place a wipe, a clean, I'm going to label these this time. Okay. Let's close this properly. Let's close this properly. I just put down a strong black there. Right? That's it. For now. And then once I clean the place up, we'll put it together. Put legit labels on it. Let's take this down. Now, that's all the liqueur we've taken care of here. I want to make some new batches. So let's do this, right? I want to make more cherry. Cherry, once cherry ages for a few years, it is brilliant really the the cherry liqueur is magnificent okay now i should have done this when we we're in season when we we're in season but i didn't we have frozen cherries that we we have right now right so and there's another one i want to make uh well i'll show it to you but i want to make some mint some of the dried mint that we have i should have used fresh mint but um actually maybe we won't make the mint We'll wait until I get some fresh mint. So let me. Let me bring up a bag of cherries. These are basically frozen cherries that we had in the freezer. They're pitted. There is no pits in them. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up this this guy okay now we just got to be careful Oops, last one Pour sugar on top. So we're making basically making new batches. Not that we don't have enough, but it's always because once you do this, you're not gonna have access to this, you're not gonna be able to drink this for a few years, for at least a couple of years, right? You might taste it next year, maybe, right? But two years, three years, four years is starting to get really good, right? 40 years, it is phenomenal. It is black gold, right? Magic, just pure magic, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour sugar on top, pour vodka, let the sugar go down, and then pour more sugar. And I'll show you how much. Take a look. So this is the cherry, right? Basically, one jar of cherry, you know, you shake it, it settles a little bit. So almost full, right? I'm going to show you how much sugar I'm going to put in here. And I might increase it later on, right? So this guy, I got a measuring cup. I usually don't use a measuring cup. What do we got here? This is 125 milliliters, okay? And that comes out to uh, a half a cup or four ounces okay <laughs> all the different measurements on here so we're just gonna pour the sugar on top so this is half a cup 
I'm going to add more. I'm adding another half a cup. Uh, another half a cup, and this is, these are like one kilo jars or something like this. I don't know what they are. Or 750. So we're just going to add it on top. Perfect. That's a lot of sugar. It's going to be sweet, this one. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to pour. This is how much vodka we had left from the other one, filling up the lemon. Right? Liquor that we did at the beginning. So we're going to pour on top of this. So that was basically, it was a little bit less than half a bottle. So this is 750 ml. So let's say approximately 300 ml of vodka, half a 26er, between a third and a half a 26er, right? But let's call it, let's call it half a 26er. And all we're gonna do now is just close this off. That's it. And after we shoot the video, we've done the stream, I'm gonna go put this under sunlight by the window okay so that was cherry you know what i should put a label on that i'm just gonna go cherry sour cherry is the sour cherry oh we lost one here let me taste it here it is right i think it's a straight up cherry cherry Cherry, 2018, frozen, one cup sugar, and half a 26er, half a 26er vodka. Okay, there you go. I'll make proper labels later. Okay, famous last words, right? Now. The other one I want to make is blueberry. Okay, so let me grab another bottle. Let's throw blueberries in this. Okay. Again. Just frozen blueberries, right? Fresh would work. Fresh would be ideal, really. You know what? Instead of using this bottle, let me use this bottle that has a bigger lid. That way it's easier to get in. Right? Same with the cherries. The cherries are good, but the blueberries are fantastic. They're from a organic farm in Vancouver that we bought. So let me get my hands a wipe, and we're gonna put sugar in this, right? Let's do. So this is okay. Let's do. Just go straight to a full cup if we can. So this is a little bit less than a full cup. I might add a little bit more at the end.
again, do not use flavored vodka for this, or I never have. Maybe you want to, I don't know. This is going to be sweet. And usually the first batch is going to be sweeter, and then you don't add sugar, you just add more vodka to it, right? Or gin. And usually we use clear spirits. Okay, I don't want to use up the whole vodka, because I want to make another one. I want to make a strawberry one as well. I've never made a strawberry one. I thought, why not? Why not? Right. So let's put this guy here. So here is. Did I show you the chair in one close up? One close this. Right. The lid of this, I'll have to change. The top is new. That seal card. This one is a little bit. But here it is, right? That's my sugar. It's going to be sweet when it's ready. Okay. Fantastic. That's the blueberry. And let's do a strawberry. Okay. Let's do a strawberry. And the strawberry one, let's... Do we have... Since I've never made a strawberry one, I'm just going to make a little guy. Should I make a little guy? Uh, mm, should we make a little guy? Should we make a little guy or a big guy? You know what? Let's go with the big guy. It's going to be hard getting the strawberry in this. Let's see. They're whole strawberries. Okay. And again, these are organic, local strawberries, right? Oh, wow, that smells amazing. We've got to make some jam. I'm going to use my hands because otherwise there's no way this is going to get in there. If we're by the sink, I would give my hands a wash, but we are just pouring vodka in there. That's as sterile as it's gonna get, right? You should get a little bit of that itself. Nice. This is gonna be good. more in there let's get some more in there because there's nothing like eating infused fruit that you've made liqueur out of like the way we did like one of those things two of those things were absolutely phenomenal right one more okay that's good Pour the sugar in there. Sugar, sugar. Are we going to put a cup in there? This is a little bit less than a cup, so I might add a little bit more. going to be sweet I'm making them intentionally sweet because I just want to I want these to last a while go through a few refills right and let's pour the vodka nice and we got a little bit left which is fine this beautiful color really beautiful color all right take a look okay take a look at this thing 
absolutely beautiful there. And the sugars almost all gone down. So these three that we just made, for sure I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go put in the window. It's a little sunny today. It's supposed to be sunny this week, so hopefully we get some nice sun, right? Beautiful. So we actually didn't end up uh, consolidating any of the any of the batches. We've sort of organized a little bit, so I know once I clean this up, I know what's going to go where, and I'm going to label them properly and take care of business, right? Uh, sort of a fall winter cleaning. Uh, for the liqueurs anyway that I do once every I guess two three four years this has been a while since I did this I just kept on adding making new adding adding so I lost track of what was there uh, aside from that I hope you enjoyed uh, that's the way I sort of make my own batches of special drinks for special occasions or medicinal stuff like we had sea buckthorn and uh, the lemon for sure and we have uh, uh, what's it called cornini cornelian cherries right uh, fantastic fantastic liqueurs to have if you're got a little bit of tummy or you ate a little bit too much at that sort of uh, pot like you went to or something okay and they make by the way these make phenomenal gifts we've there's some people that we've actually taken some of the stuff and poured into a glass jar and stuff and we take it to them as a gift and they people who appreciate this type of stuff uh it's uh, it's fantastic they love it they love getting that and they love sampling it and when we have friends or guests over for special occasions every now and then after dinner or potluck or whatever we ask people what flavor of liqueur do you want and we pour them a little bit of liqueur and give them little shot glasses and sit down talk eat dessert maybe uh, and just uh, enjoy right uh, thanks for being here I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next live stream and the next video bye for now